We have here our second example. This is the space agency example. So space agency planning team wishes to set up a schedule for launching satellites over a period of three years. Experimental payloads are two types, T1 and T2. Okay. Each launch carries only one experiment. Externally negotiated agency policies dictate that at most 88 of payload type T1 and 126 of type T2 can be supported. Let's note that talagang ko ng uh, yung at most na yan, ha? Okay, para later, I'll change the color lang. Para later, I have a clue dun sa at most na yan. Okay, good. Next, okay? And T2 can be supported. For each launch, type 1, uh, type T1 payloads will operate successfully with a probability of 0.85 and type T2 payloads with probability of 0.75. In order to program, for the program to be viable, there must be a total of at least 60 successful deployments. The agency is paid 1.5 million for each successful T1 payload and 0.7 million for each successful, uh, for each T2. One week of time must be devoted. Meron parang one week, okay? must be devoted to the preparation of each T2 launch payload. And two weeks are required for T1 launch payload. The agency will, while providing a public service, wishes to maximize expected net income from the satellite program. Okay, so medyo lengthy yung problem. Tapos ito medyo challenging na siya kasi hindi na nakatable yung uh, value ko. Okay, so first off, let's identify our decision variables. So as stated a while ago, so ito, classic din ulit. So medyo makikita nyo kung ano yung decision variables nyo based dun sa number one, based dun sa ano yung makokontrol nyo, number two, based dun sa, or number two na clue lang naman, okay, ay based dun sa mga cost. Okay, so medyo makikita naman natin dito, though madaming cost dito, Pero lagi niyang sinasabi na yung cost, halimbawa ito, kung 1.2, 1.2 million for each successful T2 payload. Okay? So therefore, tapos yung isa naman ay 1.5 million for each successful one, uh, T1 payload. Okay? So therefore, you can say na ang inyong decision variable ay nakadepende kay T1 at saka kay T2. Okay? Kasi nandun yung dollar sign, nandun yung pera. Okay? At ang goal dito ay maximize the net income. Okay? So, therefore, we would be focusing on the decision variables na decision variables um, let, halimbawa, sabihin natin x1. x1 would be our t1. Okay? The number of satellites na ilo-launch carrying type t1. Satellites, number of satellites na t1 ang dala. Okay, and then sabihin natin x2 yung um, t2 naman ang dala. Okay, so this is one of the trickiest um, problem para sa mga nagsistart off pa lang sa linear programming kasi parang ang dami masyadong pera. Okay, pero you'll see here ang sabi niya net income. Okay? So, therefore, pag sinabi mo kasi net income, profit minus cost ang labanan doon. Okay? Again, review. So, your income or your net income, your net income ay profit minus cost. Ang formula nun. Okay? Or, pag sinabi net income, ito talaga yung kinita mo. Okay? So, check natin. Ano ang pwede natin gawin sa objective function? So, sabi daw, si objective function ay maximize net income. Okay? Sabihin natin si net income ay Z. Okay? So, meron na tayong maximize agad. So, hindi pa tapos. Okay? So, sabi daw, net income. 
Okay, so analyze natin ano-ano ba yung profit dito at ano-ano ba yung cost. Okay? So sabi dito, balikan natin yung problem. Highlight ko lang. I'll be using highlighter. Okay? So sabi daw, um, agency, blah, 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 carries only one experiment. Okay? Yung mga most na yan, pang constraint yan. For each launch, type P1 payloads will operate successfully at 0.85 na probability. Okay, let's highlight this. P1, ang probability ay 0.85. Chill lang. Kasi parang feeling ko kailangan siya. Okay. Type dito naman, ang probability ay 0.75. Okay. In order for the program to be viable, ito, list ay ano yan, constraints na naman yan. The agency paid, ayan, 1.5 million, 1.5 million for each successful P1. Tapos, 1.2 million for each successful P2. Oops. Each successful P2. Okay. The cost, ayan na, cost. The cost of the agency to prepare and launch the two types of payload are 1.5 million for each T1 and 0.7 for each T2. Okay? So, meron pa bang related sa cost? Wala nang related sa cost. Okay? So, therefore, we can say na ang profit niya Okay, dito ko muna. Ang profit niya, ang lahat ng nasa profit niya ay itong 1.5 million. 1.5 million for each successful. Yun nga lang, yung probability ng success ng T1 ay 0.85 lang. Okay, so therefore, 1.5, lahat naman sila in million. So, hindi ko na i-million pa. Okay, so, i-suppose ko na lang na lahat sila ay same ng unit, so in million. So, 1.5. 1.5 million for each successful T1. Ang probability ng successful T1 payload ay 0 0.85. Tapos, X1. Okay? Ano pa yung nasa profit? Plus... Tito naman. So, 1.2 daw uh, for each successful T2. 1.2. Ang probability ng success ay 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay? Times X2. Okay? This is your profit function. Okay? Minus. Minus natin. Minus. Okay? So, minus. Ano-ano ba yung cost ninyo? Ang cost ninyo ay itong the two types of payloads are the cost of T2 are 1.05 million. 1.05 X1 plus 0.7 na dito. 0.7 na dito. Okay. So, this is your profit function and this is your cost function. Okay. So, pag mamainusin lang natin sila para mas simplified yung objective function natin. Okay. So, combine like terms lang tayo. Distribute na natin to. So, pasok ko na to ha. Ito negative. Ito ay magiging negative. Okay? So, combine like terms tayo. Ito, i-multiply muna natin. 1.5 times 0.85 ay ilan nyo? 1.5 times 0.85 1.275 x1 1.275 x1 plus 1.2 times 0.75, 0.9x2, less, oops, less, 1.05, 1.275, 0.9x2, 
x1 less 0.7 x2. Okay? So, simplify natin. Combine like terms. So, we'll have 1.75 less 1.05. That would be point. Ano ba? Ni pa la guys. One point two seventy five. Ano ba yung one point zero five ang ni dalawa? One point two seven five. This one point zero five. 0.225. 0.225x1. Okay. Tapos, ang x2 nyo, combine si 0.9 less 0.7 0.2 plus 0.2x2. Okay. So, ito po ang inyong official na objective function. Objective function pa lang yan. Okay. So, gawin natin yung inyong constraints. Okay? May mga sinabing constraints dyan. So, sabi daw, itong externally negotiated agency policies dictate that at most 88 of payload is type T1 and 126 is of type T2 is supported. So, therefore, Lagyan natin siya as uh, x subject to. Sana magkasya pa siya. Subject to x t1. x1 is less than or equal to 88. Okay. Tapos, another one. Dito ko na ilalagay. Ah. Kaya sa pababa. Yes, x2 i less than or equal to 126. Okay, ito yung para sa constraint na yan. Okay, at most 88 at saka 126 for T2. Sunod. For each, tapos na ako dyan. Ano pang kulang ko? One week, itong 52 weeks. One week must be devoted to preparation of each T2 launch and two weeks required for each T1 launch. Okay? So, lagay natin siya. So, ang constraints doon. So, we have technically 52 weeks a year. So, ang kay X1 ay 2X1, 2 weeks daw, plus 1X2. Okay, less than or equal to. Ang sabi daw, 3 years. Okay, 3 years. So, 52 times 3 ay 156. Okay? So, this is for the uh, number of weeks na constraints. Ito ay ang constraint ninyo sa policy. Double check natin ngayon kung meron pa na naiwan. Ayan, itong at least 60. In order for the program to be to be viable, there must be a total of at least 60 successful deployments. Okay, at least 60 successful deployments daw. Okay, di lagay natin yung at least 60. So, gamitin natin yung probabilities na yan, yung kanina. So, 0.85 x1 plus 0.75, oops, 0.75 x2, okay, tapos at least 60, kaya siya ay greater than or equal to 60. Okay, double check ulit. Baka may naiwan tayo. Okay, nagamit ko na si 1.2. Nagamit ko na din si 1.05. One week must be able. Nalagay ko na rin yun dito. Okay, and therefore, ang kulang na lang natin ay 
si x1 saka x2 greater than or equal to 0, our non-negativity constraints. Okay, so therefore, ang ating sagot ay itong nasa ilalim na aray. Sorry, sorry medyo siksikan kasi kailangan ko ipakita sa inyo yung tanong para sabay tayong nag-a-analyze. Ano pa? 